Update guys, we have officially found Sean Murray. So for those of you that might be new or perhaps you might have forgotten, I made a video called Where in the Hell is Sean Murray and released that back in September because no one had heard from the studio lead of Hello Games since No Man's Sky was released in August, pretty much crushing the hopes and dreams that everyone had had for No Man's Sky that had been built up over the course of the past couple of years as the game uh, continuously got more and more hype put behind a lot more people started talking about the game and pretty much promises were made and dreams were built up that simply couldn't be fulfilled and definitely were not fulfilled upon the release of No Man's Sky. So now here we are at the very end of November and we finally get an update about 1.1 and the fact that it's also released on PC and PlayStation 4 right now. If you have No Man's Sky, you can go reinstall it because chances are you probably uninstalled it over the course of the past couple of months and you can download update 1.1 which adds a substantial amount of content to the game including two brand new game modes, Creative and Survival, on top of a lot of other additions to the game which I'm going to go over right now. Now the first big update for the game is in-depth base building. It's pretty much been overhauled and a lot has been added to the experience, but if you go to the official video, which I will link down below and we'll be playing right here, and you look at what I'm talking about, it actually looks to be pretty fun. I am not a big fan of base building in games. Whenever I got to that part of Fallout 4, I was kind of dreading it and it's not my favorite thing to do, but you know, I can appreciate it. When it comes to the base building in No Man's Sky, it actually looks to be a pretty intuitive experience. I'm kind of excited to give it a shot, believe it or not. Now on top of that, you can hire aliens to do research for you, which certainly takes away from some of the time that you have to put into researching things. Uh, there's also been a quick access toolbar that has been added that makes that inventory a little bit more manageable if you use a certain thing a lot of the time. On top of that, you can purchase space freighters, which is something that's very, very cool. They're pretty much uh, intergalactic bases, if you will, that can be summoned anywhere in the galaxy. And then there are harvesting machines for resources that have been added to the game. So instead of sitting there with a giant block of obsidian or whatever kind of a a mineral you might be trying to harvest, you can just put this machine on it and it does it for you while you go off and explore. Now these are just a couple of the additions to the game that I felt definitely stood out in my mind, but if you want to read the full patch notes, I will link that stuff down below and I will also link this video down below so that you can watch it for yourself and it does a great job of breaking down everything that has been added to the game. But I kid you not, this is the biggest 1.1 update that I have ever seen and it adds a ton of stuff that was missing from No Man's Sky whenever it launched. Now there have also been a couple of tweets that have been released alongside this patch for No Man's Sky that I felt were definitely worth reading. So of course there was the first one that announced the patch itself and it said if you could have lived our lives over the last months you'd know how meaningful this is. Here is update 1.1 1 .1, and then it had a link to the patch notes and the video that you can watch like I linked down below. Now following that announcement tweet about five hours later Sean Murray tweeted out again from the No Man's Sky Twitter account saying we're getting better as quickly as we can for the players who invested in us. Thank you for sticking with us and about that same time he said we hope you enjoy the first proper update we didn't want to talk about anything until it was 100% certain which certainly does explain the radio silence and I can kind of get where they're coming from with that but that really really was not the best PR move now in my opinion these tweets kind of humanized the situation and kind of put it back into perspective what is going on here with Sean Murray and the guys over at hello games uh, they aren't trying to steal anyone's money they certainly aren't trying to make the best game that has ever been made known to mankind. What they're simply trying to do at this point is make the game that they set out to make all those years ago. And it seems like the foundation update is laying the foundation for, as they said, uh, all of the updates to come and all of the new content that is going to be coming to No Man's Sky over the course of the next few years if they continue to work on the game. Now make no mistake, I am not defending No Man's Sky and I'm not defending Sean Murray and Hello Games for one single second. They released a game that was completely totally unfinished and definitely should have been delayed until I would say perhaps sometime in December because the foundation update would have been ready at launch. That wouldn't have even been update 1.1. It would have been simply included in the base game and then pretty much you would never have had any of this backlash. It certainly looks to fulfill a lot of the promises that the guys were making from the very beginning and it definitely makes a more substantial and fun experience for No Man's Sky overall. It should have been there from the start and they definitely should have delayed the game. There's no no doubt about that. 
However, on Twitter and on Reddit and the YouTube comments of the video that I linked down below, there is a lot of hostility going towards the guys that made No Man's Sky, and that is somewhat understandable, but at this point, this is literally the best thing we could have hoped for because they are continuing to work on the game. They have released patch 1.1 that fixes a lot of the issues with No Man's Sky, and really, we should be happy that they're still working on the game instead of just abandoning a project that has already gotten such a bad reputation for itself because of its launch. I am not saying how however, that we should all go out and rebuy our copies of No Man's Sky and hit up the guys on Twitter saying, yeah, man, you released 1.1, good job. That is not what I'm saying whatsoever. What I am saying is cut back on the hostility a little bit and just remain a little bit hesitant, but hope the best for No Man's Sky because it very well still could be an incredible game if the foundation update lays the foundation for more incredible updates to come because this world could definitely be built out and this could still be one of the best experiences of this generation if Sean Murray and the guys at Hello Games do it right. Which brings me to the final question, is this going to save No Man's Sky? Are people going to start playing the game again? Uh, that has yet to be seen. I definitely think that more people are going to be coming back and giving it another shot, and depending on how the game's media does intend to cover this story, uh, pretty much directly impacts how the game is going to perform in the long run. So we'll just have to kind of wait and see. But regardless of whether it does really, really well or continues to do poorly, just having a good update and having a good foundation to build on is the best thing that could have been hoped for for No Man's Sky, so whatever the future holds, it's certainly better than what it was holding a couple of days ago before anyone had heard anything. So there you guys have it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, share it on your social media of choice and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think about Foundation Update 1.1. Do you think it is actually as substantial as it looks? Do you think it's going to save No Man's Sky or is it still just going to be, like I said, dead in the water? Leave it in the comment section down below and if you happen to be new to the channel, I do upload new stuff like three or four days a week depending on the week, so there's always something new right here on the channel when you drop by to watch some videos but as for right now i want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video i'll talk to you soon peace